Happy Tuesday, crafty friends. I'm coming on today because I got two new dies and I'm absolutely loving them. And I want to show you how easy these cone flowers are to color. Um, so I got this watering can and I think it's fabulous. It has that um, Tim Holtz vibe, although it's designed by somebody named Cassie, apparently. And um, I got it from Allie, but I love it. It's dimensional like the Sizzix colorized ones, you know? You know, so it's really sturdy. I just, I love it. I love the size of it. I love watering hands, I love flowers. So anyway, I watercolored these cone flowers, but I'm going to, I've, I've cut some out of watercolor paper down here. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And, um, let me swap places with this. And I'm going to show you how easy it is. And I'm going to do one with um, watercolor. And then I'm going to do one with markers. So you can see how easy it is. So, don't be afraid. It is so easy. So maybe for this, maybe I'll just go ahead and start and do the um all right so first i'll do this hmm. my marker looks like it's a little bit on the dry side or a lot on the dry side that's okay because you know when you're making these every flower is different and unique that's how they are just like us and uh so we're not going to worry about that. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and color this part too just because well, it might help if I color the right center, huh? If I have enough ink left in here. I got to get it. I got to swap out my my cutting plates. As you can see there must have been something circular under there. That had cut in. That's okay. That'll be covered up. No worries. All right. So there's that. Now then. Let's make... You want to make this one? Or you wanna, let's, let's do yellow. You want to do yellow? All right. So this is all I'm going to do. Just real loosely color this. Slap your color on there that and then let's get some let's try this pink all right so i'm just gonna put it right here and then i'm gonna take this again We're gonna blend that out. Okay. And then I'm going to take a too light. A little bit lighter pink. That'll really be fine. So that my, my fade has got a little bit more fade to it. Okay. And it's got a little bit too much of a line. Let's go over that just a little bit. Here we go. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. Like this. Now, I know you're saying, that doesn't look anything like that. Give me a second. Just give me a second. Okay, 
So I'm going to take this yellow and I'm going to put some yellow in here. Okay. And then I'm going to take a darker brown. go around like that and let's say this one oh yeah all right so now here's the part that I think turns it into magic so have these gel pens and you know cone flowers their seeds are real bristly and if you look at a picture of a cone flower you can see those bristles there it's actually seeds but you know so by just making tiny little marks of this darker color it gives you the illusion of being able to see those little seeds. And as it gets closer to the top, they kind of spread out and they get to be a little bit lighter. And then you got the sun shining on their pretty little face. And you can overlap a little bit. And there it is. Okay. So now you have this one. This one, which is watercolor, and this one, which is used with markers. Easy peasy. All right, now then we'll do these two with uh, watercolor, so if I can get my hands on a watercolor pen. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over this, because, and this one. Remember, your watercolors always dry lighter than, than how you put them on there. So, that will make a difference in the final outcome. Alright. So, I guess we'll stick with, with this kind since... Um, so, I'll, again, go in with my yellow first and your you know your colors are going to be more concentrated where the petal generally where the petal comes out of the flower and then the longer it's been in the world the more sunshine it's seen and rain and all that kind of stuff and age its color starts to fade. And it's okay if you leave some white in there because it's just okay. Alright. Now let's go in. Ooh, that's dark. But that's okay. You know, you know what I always say when you're watercoloring, if you want to lift it off, you just use water. Just dibble dabble. If you feel like you got too much, brush the opposite direction and go back and forth. And this is watercolor paper, so it'll take the it'll take the madness. Oh, looky there. See, no mistakes. <laughs> ah, and then I got too much off. My 
My washing machine is calling me. Uh, the chore that never ends. It says, here I am. Come, come check on me again. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of yellow up here. And a little bit up here. All right. Clean that out. Clean those up. Glue this on. I just love these. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. clean it up all the way but now now the magic just little tiny lines happy lines felt like Bob Ross there for a minute happy trees Make it a little bit darker around the base because that'll give it some more dimension. See how that little bit of darkness really makes these pr more prominent. This color so this is like a brown these are gel pens that I got at um, Walmart they're pen and gear and I'm loving them loving them and for the price oh what are you talking about good 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 I think it's $14.97 for 48 of them or something like that awesomeness So, well, I mean, we can combine them all, but, you know, either way, either way, they're amazing. So, y'all get your watercolors out and make some flowers. I'm going to make me a stash because how much fun are these? And, you know, it doesn't have to be cone flowers. You can do any kind of flower. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you this morning. And if y'all have never watercolored, get your water, get you some. They don't have to be expensive ones. You know, just try and play. And remember, you can always lift it off with some water. It's like magic. Okay, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Love you guys. Blessings.